Hi, I'm Brad Rosley. Thanks for tuning in today to my channel. I'd like to talk to you today about something that I've gotten up and started here for myself, as I normally do. I eat my own cooking. Most of the stuff I tell my clients and my watchers about, and my listeners about, is strategies that I'm currently doing. Well, the latest strategy I've started to do for myself, my own family, is called donor advised funds. Have you ever heard of a donor advised fund? Chances are you only would have heard of those if you had done some research. Donor advised funds are simple and convenient and can really help you a lot with your taxes when it comes to giving to qualified charities. Let me just say right off the bat that if you are not watching this for yourself or someone else that's interested in making significant charitable gifts or possibly giving a gift or gifts at your death, this video might not be for you. But if you are an annual gifter or someone that may want to leave a larger amount of money at your death, well, this is a great, great video. The topic again, donor advised funds. I'm Brad Rosley. Don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button, please, as I have a ton of videos about tax planning and retirement planning especially. So if you find yourself in a position that you are claiming the standard deduction and would like to use your gifts towards the itemized deduction list, but maybe you don't give enough in a certain year in order to do that, that's where the donor advised fund might come into play. This, this is one of the many areas. The reason that is when you gift to a donor advised fund, which can be set up at many different brokerage accounts, okay? It's just in the name, not just your name, but in the name of your family donor advised fund, for example. Mine's the Rosley, um, the Rosley Charitable Giving Fund is what I happen to name it. So what I do is you, you cluster your gifts. You make one big gift throughout the year, although you can make a gift anytime. Actually, you can gift to it. And then I maintain the control over when I send out the money. So I may put a lot of money in there in one year for the purpose of making it available to be itemized. Because maybe without, if I don't bunch up the charitable gifts into one year, my itemization turns out to not be favorable and I'll just take the standard deduction. So literally, let's just say you were going to give uh, $5,000 a year to your church just to make up a number. Well, one way to do that, but you don't but you don't get enough itemized deductions to make it worthwhile to use anything other than the standard deduction. What you might do is just say, put three years worth of your, your anticipated church contributions, three times 5,000 or $15,000 into a donor advised fund. Now for tax purposes in the year you did that, you get to use $15,000 as a charitable gift, even though you might just give $5,000 of that in the current year to the church, $5,000 the next year to your church out of the same account, and $5,000 the following year. And you would do that again so that you can bunch your deductions, your contributions into one year. Now, how do you make contributions? Well, you don't have to make them just in cash. As a matter of fact, if you have appreciated stocks or mutual funds or exchange traded funds or something else, appreciated securities, there's a really good benefit of donating those to your donor advised fund. And the benefit is, let's just say you were lucky enough to buy uh, 100 shares of Tesla and you paid $10,000 for those shares and now those shares are worth $50,000. Well, you could sell the stock or some portion of the stock and you could be stuck paying the capital gains or, or you could give some shares or all the shares to your donor advised fund. You transfer them in there without selling them. Now, the donor advised fund sells them, enjoys the profit without having to pay any capital gain tax. And then you now have cash, or you can reinvest the money if you want to invest it, and allow that money to grow, or you can give it out as you choose. Excuse me. 
you can give it out as you choose. So a de so the donation of appreciated assets is a fantastic benefit of a donor advised fund because the advised fund will pay the tax. By the way, unlike setting up a trust, there's no real fees to set up a donor advised fund. It's a, it's a, a special account application at your brokerage firm. Okay, so it's not hard at all. One of the neat things about avoiding that capital gain tax is let's say you were gonna donate $10,000, but if you had to sell the stock yourself, and you had a serious appreciation, you might have to sell $12,000 worth of stock, pay $2,000 in capital gains tax to end up with $10,000 to give to the charity or charities of your choice. But since you don't have to pay capital gains tax if you make the gift directly to the donor advised fund, you don't have to gift 12,000 less than 10, you can gift only 10. So saving that capital gains tax is huge. And depending on what happens in the next tax law, if there's a big change made, they could be taxing capital gains even more, which would make this even more attractive. Now, one of the other benefits about these donor advised funds, remember when I said about, for example, giving say three years worth of donations to the charitable donor advised fund? What happens to the money if you're not gifting it all in that first year? What happens if you put 15 in, but you only plan to, to give away five this year and five next and five the following? Well, you can invest that money into basically anything that you could invest with a brokerage account money. So you could invest, you could turn around, sell the Tesla stock in my example, and if you wanted to, you could buy it back inside of the donor advice fund. And then next year or the following year or 10 years later, you can sell whatever stock you wanna sell, not pay the capital gains tax and give it away. It's quite possible that you could get even a larger sum of money. What happens if you only have a few years left to work and you wanna make large donations to help you with your current tax bill so that you don't have to sell any of the stocks and pay capital gains, but you wanna make gifts? Well, you can make these contributions to the donor advised fund. And once it's in the fund, inside a brokerage account, your family charitable giving fund or whatever you like to call it, you can have a portfolio in there. And you don't have to do anything as far as future gifts. Maybe your purpose is not to gift annually somewhere, but to make a significant charitable contributions to as many organizations as you choose at your death. So maybe you're gonna live for another 20 years or more, and that money, whatever you gift into that donor advised fund is allowed to grow forever without paying any tax until you die. But what happens when you die? Guess what? It doesn't have to all be gifted then. I had a client recently where we transferred some really significantly appreciated exchange traded funds that we love because they did great, sold some of it to make a current gift, but allowed the left the rest of it in the account to keep growing. And in doing that, what we did was we're going to have a future gift. And if my client doesn't distribute all that money while she's alive, her two sons are going to become the successors on that account and they will decide when and how that money is donated out to whatever charity they deem worthy. So it's a really neat thing. My client felt great about giving her children some say in how that money might be distributed. It also put a charitable mindset into their hearts if they didn't already have them, which they actually do, of course. So these are a couple of things that you can do with this donor advised fund. I have a spreadsheet available for you as a PDF that reminds you of who this makes sense for and how this might work best for you. Feel free to email me if you'd like a copy of this. Brad at fortunefinancialgroup.com is my email, and I'll send you a copy and a PDF. If you'd like help with how to invest this money, I can do that as well and how this works. My company's Fortune Financial Group. I'm in, in Florida and in Illinois at this point, but I work with clients all over the country. So if you'd like help with this type of planning, feel, please feel free to uh, look me up. Uh, you can reply to this, this video and get a hold of me. Fortune Financial Group is my company. Make sure to subscribe too and give me a like if you like the video. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day.